Hi friends, this is Lady Flora and I thought today we could take a look at what your kindergartner needs to know. This is a really cool book that I've been using a lot lately. But first I just wanted to let you know that I've got a few other videos um, where I talk about different curriculums and stuff that we've been using and if you're interested in looking inside of the books and hearing our thoughts on it and if we worked, if it worked for us or not, you can check out those videos um, just by subscribing and just searching through the channel. There should be some playlists that'll come up probably here or here and you can check those out if you're interested. We also talk about the good and the beautiful as well. And you can also follow us on Instagram and you can check out our blog where we do a lot of projects and activities and stuff. So let's get into it. So I'm very blessed that my mother-in-law happens to be a, a retired school teacher. And so she occasionally will give me some cool things that she has found used or things that she or things that she actually used when she was teaching. And so that's been very helpful to get her opinion on things and to get her um, her support in that way. And this book is called What Your Kindergartner Needs to Know. And it's part of the core knowledge series. And I think that this book Maybe, I could be wrong, but I get the impression this book was written for families who are preparing their child to go into kindergarten or so, to go into kindergarten. So not necessarily as a homeschool resource, but just as a, yeah, a prep guide for, for preschoolers who are getting ready to enter kindergarten. But I have been using it with my daughter because she, we, we homeschool year round, so it's summertime, but I'm still doing curriculum, curriculum related to kindergarten with her. And I wanted to go through this book with her because I thought, wow, that went by so fast. I can't believe that she's going to be in the first grade next year. At least that's, that's where we're headed. So I wanted to go through this book and just make sure we hadn't missed anything basically <laughs> make sure that she's learning things that other kindergartners are learning so this has a really really great table of contents that i am going to show you now the first section is probably one of my favorites this is language and literature and as you can see there's a lot of good stuff in here and this is full of poems and stories and things that you can use. You can actually just read them out loud to your child. So you don't have to go and hunt down these stories or find another book that has them in there. They're all in here. There's, um, there's a lot of poems, familiar and favorite poems, which is really cool. A lot of kind of silly ones um, that we think of as nursery rhymes like Hickory Dickory Dock and um, Baba ba, Black Sheep, things like that. Uh, some really, there was a little girl, that's a good one. And, um, and then of course we've got Aesop's Fables here, which is good. And there are some stories, and these are just classic stories that everybody, apparently everybody learns when they're growing up. The Three Little Pigs and Little Red Riding Hood and things like that. It even has a Winnie the Pooh story in here and the Velveteen Rabbit, which is interesting. One of my favorite stories, the Velveteen Rabbit. And there's some sayings, and then we've got history and geography, which is really cool. I've been going through that with my daughter right now. And this is just a really great, simple introduction to the globe and the map. And I really like that. We've got visual arts, what do artists do? Music, now this is, this is very simple stuff. You are likely already doing this kind of thing with your child already. These are just songs that you can sing that have hand motions or that are just um, common songs that preschoolers and kindergartners know. And then these activities are basically, you know, counting to the, to the music, clapping to the music is what I meant to say. Um, doing something faster and slower, singing a song faster, slower, higher, lower, loud and quiet. And then mathematics are things like sorting and patterns. 
and then um, you know counting to ten and things like that number matches and then and then they do get into addition and subtraction and measurement and uh, geometry which really is just recognizing shapes at this age and then science which is wonderful is really just nature science about plants and seeds and what we eat and weather science things like that really cool stuff all right so let me get into it a little bit deeper so here is our language and literature section and there's there's kind of a lengthy introduction to to most of the sections but i like that this has you know in case you need it this is pretty this covers a lot of stuff but this is how you can you can either have your child trace the letters or you can you know copy them onto a piece of paper yourself or you can just use this for reference and it helps um, to have these diagrams here on how a child should hold their pencil some alphabet stuff which usually kindergartners know already some notes on rhyming words and then this is really just this is one of the things that I like about this this book it's just is full of poems and uh, this is not like a how-to instructional book this is just actually stuff that your kindergartner could use this is just really cool stories and poems and things that you can read out loud to them and a, a, a few of them are, um, are Grimm's fairy tales, so watch out for those. <laughs> and then this one, they have a few that are from other cultures. This one is from Japan, and there's Native American story in there as well as, as an African story, I think. This is the largest section, is the literature one. History and geography. been really enjoying going through this with my daughter. We're learning about the continents and the countries and it talks about using a, a compass. This is really cool because we're doing CC classical conversations this year and they're doing cycle one which is I believe world history or ancient history. So this, we're going to be learning a lot about the world map And it goes into each continent, talks a little bit about each continent. A little bit, just a little bit. And some of the animals that live, that are found on those continents. So this has been really cool. And it goes into some American history as well. And here's the visual art section, which is lovely. What do artists do? And it talks about a couple of famous paintings, asks us how the colors make us feel. Talks about different types of lines. We've got some Matisse in here. So here we have a painting uh, by Marie Cassatt, which is really nice that, to uh, include the female impressionists. It's very cool. Some statues and monuments that are significant music again there are some cool um, you know clapping activities in here but a lot of this is stuff you might already be doing with your preschooler some songs that's cool some classic songs in case you were wondering what the words were to my Bonnie lies over the ocean they're right here Mathematics, there's just a lot of, you know, some sorting objects, some simple shape memorization, cutting shapes out, making patterns. Just trying to show you all the cool things that are in this book. This is, this looks like, like kind of a counting activity I've done where you can just ask your child to put a certain amount of beans or something in a container. And they also introduce money, which is pretty cool. And science. Just love 
earth science and biology. It's just the most interesting thing in the world to me. So we've got roots. We're learning about roots, branches, seeds, flowers, leaves, stem. So cool. Love teaching this kind of stuff to my daughter and how we, how we grow our own food and where our food comes from and how we're eating things that are seeds and some projects and activities that you can do. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. There is more information in the description box below where you can find our links to our blog and our Instagram page. You can follow us on there to see what we are up to. I have a few playlists on other curriculums that you might be interested in checking out as well and they should be appearing on the screen right now. So go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, share, and then after you do that, go outside and have a sublime day.